This is a dreamscape. And we are in what Joseph Conrad called the far, far east. It is the place of the scent of Eden. And all the explorers had no idea, no idea what lay beneath this thin, thin surface of the ocean. Erica Hilton and I am here in one of the most beautiful paradises on earth, Raja Ampat, Indonesia. Raja Ampat is the heart of the Coral Triangle, which is one of the most biodiverse areas in the world. As a matter of fact, Raja Ampat is known as the species factory. There are more species of fish and corals than anywhere on the planet. I'm here on this beautiful boat with 20 people who are scientists, geologists, oceanographers, marine biologists, photographers, and I'm the artist on board. I am remembering We've been scuba diving for the last 10 days and we've been trawling for plastics to see what, what damage we have done. So far we've found quite a bit of plastic in an ocean where they shouldn't exist because it's hundreds and hundreds of miles away from civilization. It's one of the most pristine areas in the world and it's very disturbing to find microplastics and seeing the plankton, they're eating the microplastics and the fish are eating it and the fish are eating plankton. And so what's happening is when we eat fish, we're eating plastic. Plastic does not decompose for 500 to 1,000 years. There are many things that have happened in the last 50 years of what we've done to our Earth, and the oceans seem to take the brunt of it. We need to do something about keeping our oceans clean and cleaning up the mess we've already made. The oceans are life. Seventy percent of the earth is water. Seventy percent of our bodies is water. And guess what? Seventy percent of the oxygen that we breathe comes from water. It comes from these tiny little ocean plants called phytoplankton that live near the water's surface and they drift with the currents. And like all plants, they photosynthesize, which means that they use sunlight and carbon dioxide to make food. And the byproduct of that photosynthesis is the oxygen that we breathe. So I've been doing a series um, for the last few years called I Flow Like Water. This series is about the importance of water in our lives 
and I've been working with recycled plastics and I've been infusing them into my oil and acrylic paintings. And so today I'm actually going to be flowing like water. See what it's like to paint underwater and basically be water. And all the explorers had no idea, no idea what lay beneath this thin, thin surface of the ocean. It's a world that would basically say to them, beyond a dream. So, as an artist, Erica, you, have to capture this more than a photographer can, more than a writer can. You're an artist, so you have your work cut out for you. Thank you. Okay, kid. So back to Thank Chicago you. and uh, get the burnt umber out. Just enjoying. We are. Water, and I thought that it would be really nice if. Thank you. Um, you don't want no. So I just came to a restaurant and I ordered some water, and here we are. Single use plastic. Can you believe this? Like, why do I need a straw in my water? Seriously? This is crazy. I can drink out of a glass. Remember the old-fashioned way when we used to actually drink out of the glass? Before, there were these single-use plastic straws. I mean, this is just really not acceptable. It's just not acceptable because these are going into the ocean. These are hazardous to the environment, not only to the oceans, but to our land. Okay, the birds are eating plastic, the fish are eating plastic, the, the plankton is eating plastic, Let's see, the fish are eating plankton, and when we eat fish, we are eating, this is what we're eating when we eat fish. Do you want to eat plastic? If you don't want to eat plastic, stop putting these in your, in your glasses. You don't need this. I'll be taking these microplastics, or the plastics that we found when we were trawling, and I will be doing an art project with it. It's our job to bring awareness about all the different things we can do to make our world a better place. And to be honest with you, we don't have much time. We need to do something about cleaning up our oceans. We need to get it right for our children and our children's children because 20, 30, 50 years from now, there won't be an earth the way we know it. <laughs> 